Introducing to you, Mountain's Edge. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we're going to be talking about an awesome master plan community here in Las Vegas called Mountain's Edge. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, folks, right? Please yes. subscribe. We've got lots to go over. Yes. And if you're thinking about buying a home here in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always reach out to me at 702 370-5112. I am a lifelong resident. I've been here for over 30 years, so I know pretty much every inch of this valley. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Yeah. So let's get started. Mounds Edge is a 3,000 acre master plan community located in the southwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. This award-winning community was developed by Focus Commercial Group and has been consistently ranked in the top 10 selling master plan communities nationally. It claimed the number one spot for four years. This community also boasts an entire network of schools, professional offices, shops, restaurants, convenience stores, grocery stores, and nearby malls and outlets. Mountain's Edge is comprised of more than 22 neighborhoods and subdivisions with over 12,000 home sites and was developed between 2004 to present. It is important to mention that the Mountain's Edge community is home to one of the largest parks in the Las Vegas Valley, known as the Exploration Peak and Exploration Park. The Exploration Peak, as its name suggests, is the tallest spot in the mountains. Although Mountain's Edge has been around for 19 years, builders are still adding new homes to the neighborhood, which means there are a range of home styles to choose from featuring Mediterranean and modern designs. In addition to new construction homes, the community also features over 500 acres of open space, parks, and trail systems, making it easy for residents to stay active. Homes in Mountain's Edge range from townhomes to luxury Toll Brothers homes. If you prefer gated communities, Mountain's Edge offers several gated neighborhoods and also guard-gated neighborhoods at Cascade and Breckenridge. Builders in Mountain's Edge include KB Homes, Lennar Homes, Meritage Homes, Pulte Homes, Toll Brothers, and Woodside Homes. Yeah, that's a lot of builders. And you know, you gotta figure that when Mountain's Edge was starting to be developed in 2004, what happened right after a couple years later was the crash. So uh, I think a lot of these new construction communities during that time took a pause um, and then, you know, then they, Blew exploded up. Exploded again. Exploded. Mm -hmm. I remember... Back in business. Yeah, I remember when I used to work at a company called Tidal Max and people were talking about Mountain's Edge. I'm like, what the freak is Mountain's Edge? <laughs> Where's that? Where's that at? Signs you know? everywhere. Right, right. You know, when you're not in real estate, sometimes you don't know about the neighborhoods. And I was telling Damien the other day that oftentimes people that relocate here know more about the neighborhoods in Las Vegas than the people that actually live in Las Vegas. Yeah, they're in the trenches looking, looking yeah. for the right spot for them. Because... When I was not a real estate agent, the only neighborhoods I knew of was the Lakes, Piccoli Ranch, Summerlin, mm -hmm. and Desert Shores. Hmm. That's it. Yeah, those are, those are very famous. <laughs> well, of course, I lived in that area, so that's all I knew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Mountain's Edge also has a series of paseos winding through the community, connecting residents and their neighborhoods to recreation areas. So there are four parks in Mountain's Edge, mm -hmm. and the first park is... Well, there's Exploration Peak Park, and the address is 9275 South Buffalo Drive. And Exploration Peak Park is an 80-acre regional park in Mountain's Edge. It is among the top-rated parks in the Las Vegas Valley. This park features an Old West-themed playground, which includes a western town with building replicas and a covered wagon play structure, an Indian village with web TP climbers, and an archaeological dig site. Other park amenities include playground equipment, water play area with spray jets, picnic areas, horseshoe pit, volleyball courts, outdoor amphitheater, open grass area, community restrooms, and more walking trails. 
This park's focal point is the 2,846 foot high Exploration Peak with walking and biking trails leading to the top for great views of the Las Vegas Valley and Mountain's Edge community. Yeah, and that was a pretty cool park. I thought it was super cool to see the old town. I mean, it was very big. It too. was. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was very cool. If I was a kid, I'd love to be playing around with that all day. Yeah, all day long. Mm-hmm. I'd be there. But the funny thing with this park was it was the quietest park that we had went to. Uh, there was a lot of kids there, but we didn't hear them making noises. Yeah, I was like, wow, why is everybody so well behaved? I mean, <laughs> is this a park? Why, why is it so quiet? <laughs> and it was on a Sunday, so it was kind of amazing how quiet the park was. Mm-hmm. And the next park is Mountain's Edge Regional Park, located at 8101 West Mountain Edge Parkway. And once this park is fully completed, it'll be around 220 acres. The first phase, Currently, Mountain's Edge Park has many covered playground sections, including a bike town with many streets, a jungle gym, exercise stations, covered picnic areas, and community restrooms. Other features include a multiple-use purpose sports field, an open grass area, an outdoor climbing experience, a shuffleboard, and a half basketball court. Mountain's Edge Regional Park also has a super cool sports practice and recreation area with walls designed for basketball, hockey, handball, tennis, field hockey, baseball, football, soccer, and even lacrosse. Yeah, when we went to that park, the first thing we saw was that wall, Mm -hmm. and I thought it was super cool um, because as soon as you have, you have a half basketball court right there, and then there's a wall with different hoops, right? Yeah, different levels Level of hoops. Yeah. And then on the other side, you can play tennis um, against the wall. I mean, it was just like a very awesome concept, I thought. Yeah. I guess you, if you're playing against the wall, you're as good as your own player because that's you. You're playing against yourself. Right. <laughs> True. Now, with Phase 2, Mountain's Edge Regional Park introduced the Las Vegas Valley's first 90-foot baseball diamond fourplex. The 25-acre Desert Diamonds Baseball Complex sits to the west of Phase 1 with four lighted baseball fields. This ballpark has plenty of parking, spectator seating, community restrooms, and even concession stands. The park also has a 2.3-mile paved trail called the Mountain's Edge Regional Park Loop. The trail is relatively flat and winds through the park's 250-acre natural desert landscape. It's considered an easy route. The next park is the Nathaniel Jones Park, located at 8800 Sparkling Shandon Drive. And this park is a 20-acre neighborhood park in Mountain's Edge with a playground, splash pad, dog park, walking trail, full-size lighted basketball court with four hoops, picnic tables, and community restrooms. The park also has a mix of grass and desert landscaping. Yeah, that park, I don't believe the parking is like in the neighborhood, so there was like houses across the street, so Mm -hmm. it's pretty cool where they had this park located. And the last park in Mountain's Edge is the Paiute Park, and this is located at 9347 South Cimarron Road. This is a 15-acre park that opened in 2016, and this is one of the newer parks in Mountain's Edge that features a playground, tot lot, multi-use sports field, sand volleyball court, full-size lighted basketball court with four hoops, and community restrooms. So as you can see, Mountain's Edge is a wonderful master plan community here in the Las Vegas Valley, and it is still growing with a few new construction communities. I do believe Desert's Edge is in the Mountain's Edge master plan community. Um, However, it's not as much new as it was once before. Um, Obviously, this is a large master plan community and it is a very desirable master plan community it is located in the southwest part of the valley basically to get there one way is to go on blue diamond road Mm -hmm. and it's right there um, where that whole area of southwest has grown tremendously with lots of shopping conveniences which is pretty nice or you can go down buffalo or uh, rainbow or decatur or what have you and end up in Blue Diamond area. Um, Let us know in the comments if you live in Mountain's Edge and what you think of this awesome community. Mm -hmm. Um, And what about the parks? I know a lot of people like to climb that 
Exploration Peak Mountain. Mm -hmm. Um, I see a lot of posts on Facebook and Instagram for people at the top of that mountain. Kind of like Lone Mountain having their big mountain. That's Mm -hmm. the the same example, right? Um, And the parks were awesome. I really like the Exploration Park, especially that whole uh, old Western scene. It reminded me of like Tucson, you know, the old Mm, Tucson. Yeah. Yeah, So it was very cool. Um, Yeah. So that's it with Mountain's Edge. If you are interested in buying or selling here in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Or if posted a link down in the description below for a buyer and seller form. But most importantly, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because I like to go over a lot of neighborhoods here in the Las Vegas Valley. Or you can visit my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. Yeah, you'll get lost on that site because there's so much information. It's well put together. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we can't wait to see you on the next one.